Hey friends, it's Andy. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Stardew Valley Ravenwood Farm. Um, before we jump into the playthrough, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed recently. Um, welcome to the channel and I hope you stick around and you enjoy the content that I'm putting out and I look forward to chatting with everybody down below in the comment section. All right, so I haven't played this game for a while again. I need to stop like waiting a week in between playthroughs because I keep forgetting what I'm working on, but I'm pretty sure we're trying to get that five star, not the five star, but the gold star um, parsnip which we didn't manage to get that today. But we're just gonna keep planting parsnips um, until we can no longer plant them and keep trying for that gold star parsnip so that we can fulfill the first uh, slot for the quality crops for our community center. Um, it's not the, you know, the end of the world if I don't manage to get that particular um, five gold star um, parsnips I think is what we need to fulfill that first slot because there are two of those quality crops that grow during the summer and I can try to make it up that way I am going to need to expand on our farming plot though um, by plowing or hoeing or whatever it's called in this game. <laughs> uh, more farming land and clearing off some of the uh, trees and grass and what and weeds and whatnot um, that are on the farm in order to do that. So I haven't done that yet just because I've been trying to focus on leveling up my skills and making some money. Um, but if necessary, I can certainly do that during the summer. All right, so now that I've watered everything um, and planted what I could, I'm gonna do some foraging because it's still salmon berry uh, season. And I know I said it in the last one, but I'll go ahead and remind you again, these are a great resource for food, for energy, um, when you're in the mines, but if you need the funds, go ahead and sell them. Um, but yeah, in early game, if you need them for energy and you're not um, trying to focus on the gold as much, then definitely uh, save them and take them with you into the mines so that you can um, get farther down in the mines and not have to worry about your energy or your health levels. Um, I love how I'm just like proudly carrying the berries on the top of my head. <laughs> it's such a weird thing about this game, but it makes me laugh. It looks funny. Um, so yeah, today we're, we're still trying to uh, do some fishing, but first we're gonna figure out where I can lay down these crab pots and uh, We can put some baits into them and then the next day in the game You go back and check on the crab pots and you'll have either fish or You know, sometimes it's trash Which is fine mm -hmm. If you have a high enough level and you can make a recycling machine, you can turn that trash into something that's actually valuable. Um, but yeah, basically you equip or you hold the bait and then you click on the crab pot and that's how you put the bait into the crab pot. I'm gonna buy some bait uh, and some trout soup. And I'm going to upgrade my fishing rod. It is a bit of a hit. Um, did I buy bait? No, I didn't. 
I just realized I didn't get the bait. All right, we'll use what we have for right now. Um, it is a hit to the savings of the gold in order to upgrade the fishing rod, but you're able to improve the quality of the fish that you're catching as you upgrade the fishing rod that you're using because it's a better tool. And certain fishing rods, like the higher level or upgraded versions of the fishing rods, you can add um, stuff like bait and tackle to. So, and then I had issues on this day on trying to get my fishing rod to cast where I wanted it to go. I was just having issues overall that day. We're going to do some fishing because I need to make back that money that I just spent on the fishing rod. Um, it's that whole, you, you got to spend the money to make the money type of deal. But also, um, while I'm doing my fishing, if there's any fish that I, that I catch that are part of a bundle, then I can deposit them into the community center so we can finish that. That group of bundles that we have going on. So, I hear a lot uh, from people on how the fishing in this game is hard. I have said from the very beginning that I think that the fishing in this game, in early game, is way harder than it needs to be. But I promise you, the more that you practice it, it don't take this this round of fishing as an example. I was spazzing out that day, so I don't know. Um, but the more that you practice it, the higher your level of fishing gets and the longer that green bar gets, so it gets a little bit easier to fish. That said, there's still gonna be fish that jump around all over the place that are pretty much impossible to catch unless you have the right kind of tackle. Um, but you should still be able to catch enough fish in order to get the gold and be able to finish your bundles. Ooh, I caught a flounder. Nice. Have I caught one of those before? I don't remember. It's not part of any of the bundles, but you know, I could sell it, make some money. Um. But yeah, so the more you practice, the easier that it gets. It is hard at first, uh, as I've mentioned before, to get that treasure box when you see it, if your fish is not near it, because your green bar is so small. Um, is this where I, I don't know where I'm going now. Sorry, I think at this point, I might switch fishing spots or I might go to the community center. You know what, no, 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 no. I picked up a quest, so I'm gonna deliver the fish to Shane. Now I remember what I was doing. Um, back to what I was saying. Uh, so the Fishing bar, it grows as you get experience with fishing. So it's a little frustrating, I know, but the more and more you practice it, the easier it's going to get and your chances of catching more quality fish and more fish in general will increase the more experience that you get because that green bar is gonna grow. So, Keep practicing it um, maybe make it you know one of those small tasks that you do during the day once you finish all your chores on the farm and whatever quests you're doing on um, doing for the day then do a little bit of fishing if you have enough energy before you wrap up the day in game and before you know it you will have raised the experience in your fishing and be able to uh, catch more fish. Anyway, all that said, um, 
I'm just gonna try to sneakily check the trash cans. I haven't had a lot of luck lately with this particular save file with the trash cans. Um, get some more berries. Um, but in the save file that I have going on in uh, on my Switch, I have found a trash can hat. So I proudly wear it as the trash panda that I am to let everybody in town know that, yeah, I'm, I'm the one that's checking your trash cans. So I'm hoping that it'll pop up on this save file so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, I love it. It's, it cracks me up. <clears throat> okay, let's do a little bit more fishing. Maybe, see, see what I mean? Like, I don't know what, I was trying to fish in the water where the little bubbles are at, but every time I clicked on it, my character would go over to the bridge. So I finally gave up and decided to just fish in my us usual spot because it wouldn't go where the bubbles are at. Now, supposedly if you fish where the bubbles are at, it'll increase the chance for the fish to bite because that's where they're at. Um, I personally don't notice it, but I've always wanted to just, you know, try it, see. Um, but I'm, I seem to have pretty good luck in this one spot anyway, so we'll just stick with that since for some reason my pull did not want to cast in that area. So while we're sitting here doing a little fishing, how is everybody doing? Um, I have been watching, well I caught up on The Mandalorian, um, and I'm waiting for a new episode to come out. I, I hope there's going to be another episode. Um, and then I've been watching Grey's Anatomy. I'm caught up so far in the season. I think another episode comes out today. And then um, I'm also with Grey's Anatomy watching Station 19. And then I'm also watching The Voice. I wasn't going to watch this year, but there's somebody from my hometown that is on the voice so my mom's like you have to watch it you have to watch it so I've been watching it but you know not I don't have cable so I don't watch it when it comes out I watch it when it hits Hulu so it's not like I'm voting or anything I'm just watching <laughs> uh, speaking of watching things I did completely fill in the spread uh, that I shared with you all during my December setup for the Christmas movie watch list and I have, I think, 15 movies on my list that are either on Disney+, Plus, Netflix, or Hulu that I want to watch this month. So I've just been randomly going through and watching them and then writing uh, a rating in the form of stars next to the title or below it. So I'll show you guys that when, when I do my flip through at the end of the month. But yeah, that's, that's been fun. I would, I would definitely do that again, um, next year. Cause I really, I really like that. And yes, Die Hard is on my list. Yes, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Come at me on that one. I will stand on that. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Green algae. So I did mention to save your green algae and your seaweed previously. 
If you are fishing and you find that you need a little boost in energy, you could certainly eat either of them. I know that sounds really appetizing, but I mean, if you need to, you could definitely use that. These fish isn't even trying to get away. It's so dark in game. I keep forgetting to make the torches so I can put them around in random places for me. If you're in the mines, there's a ring that you can find. It's called a glow ring. And if you have that, then it'll kind of light up the area around you. I haven't found that yet, so everything is dark still. So I really do need to make those torches, but I need to cut down some trees, I think, in order to do that. Come on, fishy fishy. Need to make back that money. So, yeah, that's, that's basically what I've been up to lately. Um, I haven't been leaving my apartment. Um, I usually go to my dad's house on Sundays, but both he and my stepmom, um, did test positive for, for COVID. So, um, they're under quarantine and I won't be able to head over there for a while. Um, so my weekends are pretty much just staying at home and watching some, something on stream or uh, playing some games. That's what I've been doing. Um, I'm still reading Daisy Jones and the Six with Jamie, and I just started Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix with Johanna, so that's, that's it, honestly. That's all I've been doing lately. I'm gonna go ahead and sell some stuff. I didn't need any of the fish, so might as well sell it. And I'm going to keep the um, Jojo Cola and the algae and the seaweed. So the Jojo Cola, you can either keep it for energy or you can give it to Sam. Sam loves Jojo Cola. All right, how much did we make? Not bad, not bad. Okay, day 18. Let's check the weather. It's gonna be sunny tomorrow. And the spirits are in good humor. Nice. Uh, and yes, we know that rain is a farmer's friend, but we haven't had any, or much of any, so. I don't think we've had any yet, actually. Go ahead and water and harvest. Let's see if we get any gold ones. Strawberries haven't come in yet. I'm hoping they'll come in soon. I'd like to at least get two of the strawberry yields um because they make good money plus you can save the lower um what's the word i'm looking for not value grade i guess wow i can't think of a word right now um but the just the regular strawberries not the silver or gold ones 
can keep those on hand if you'd like. Uh, both M Maru and Demetrius love them, and they make great gifts for those two. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sell what I don't need. I just realized I didn't pick up any tools. We're gonna go fishing again. And do any foraging along the way that we can. I always check the community board to see if there's any, like, mini quests I can do. Man, they keep asking me to slay those monsters in the mines, and I just, I'm really not in the mood to go to the mines. So I haven't been going. I know I need to, but I haven't been. If I had to choose between fishing and the mines, I, I'd, I'd choose fishing. Ooh, a gold star oyster. That's nice. Okay, so you see how there's stuff that's above the crab pots? That tells me that they were full. Can I take the... No. I don't think I put bait in them again, did I? What are you doing, Andy? Oh, we found, uh... Glass shards. Let's go donate them. And I don't know if we have enough for a reward yet. We haven't donated that much. No. No reward yet. That's okay. Once you hit a certain amount of items, you'll get a reward. Um, and it's like either furniture for your house or seeds. So. And then eventually, if you donate a certain amount of items, you'll get... Uh, the key to unlock the sewers. So we can meet our other friend, Krobus. Yay, perfect. A sunfish. We don't need those, I don't think, for any... Um bundles so we can we can sell those because we already put the one in the river bundle if I'm remembering correctly oh one other thing I've been up to lately that I forgot to tell you um, I've been playing a lot of game gaming uh let me try rephrasing that. I've been playing a lot of Eden Eternal, which is an MMORPG game, uh, with my friend Christy. And we usually play after work or on the weekends. Um, and that's been a lot of fun. I've been playing that on a private server. Um, and... I also, I was going to film the setup to my 2021, um, Stalogy, but I've been very stressed out lately because of the whole situation, There's people around me that I care about a lot, getting sick and whatnot, um, I just needed something to kind of soothe myself and de-stress and setting up spreads 
in my bullet journal um, does that for me. So I went ahead and set up the annual um, spreads for 2021. Uh, some of them I kind of sketched out and then the others I just used the printables that I had on hand or I created my own printables on Word because I didn't feel like drawing them out. So yeah, that was done. I'll show you guys what I did when I go to do the January setup. Um, so I'm sorry I didn't film it, but to me it was more important that I just sit down and kind of ease my mind and do a little self-care and for me in that moment it was playing with my stylogy and setting it up for 2021 so that's what I did. Walk around me people. Why are you getting mad? There's like a whole other half of the bridge. She just walked right through me. She's so rude that Abigail. Yeah, so the my stylogy is basically ready whenever I'm ready to sit down and do the January plan with me. Um, <clears throat> and it was just nice to get that out of the way. Have for you, for those of you that that do keep like a, a planner or a journal and whatnot. Have you decided what you're going to use for next year? I'm of course just going to stick with the stylogy that I've been using. And sell some of this stuff because I don't need it. And make some money. Buy some bait. What am I doing? Oops, that's too much bait. How much bait am I buying? Yeah, that's that's a lot of bait, Andy. I probably didn't mean to do that. Oh well, we'll use it. Oh, I should have separated some for the crab pots. I don't think I can do that once it's equipped uh, on my mobile. That's okay. It's okay. It's all good, guys, because we will use it fishing. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, let me know down below. Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Let me know down below in the comment section. Um, if you guys have selected what kind of planning or journal system you're using for 2021, are you going to do a, basically a DIY planner like I am with the bullet journal system or a, another system like that? Or are you going with a, you know, a pre-made planner? I've tried the pre-made planners. They really don't work for me, which seems odd because I use the printables and I seem to stick with the vertical layout for most of the time, but I'm thinking in January, I might change it up just for fun. Kind of give myself a little variety. I still have the vertical printables that I really enjoy using, um, but I might change things up a little bit. Try to get. Oh, we got it. We got it. Now you gotta catch the fish or you lose the treasure chest. No. Stay with me, fish. Come on. Oh, got it. Yes. And I got a geode. Nice. The geodes, if you don't know how to open those yet, you take them over to Clint, the blacksmith. You do have to pay him 
but he will open up the geodes for you and then you can find out what you got. What kind of ore or gems were inside. Now we're fishing to try to make up the money that we lost because I got way too much bait. <laughs> that was a mistake. Whoopsie. It's all right, we'll make it back, it's no problem. fishing spots because that's where Willie likes to fish. I prefer fishing at the rock anyway. I just have better luck there. I don't know why. So yeah, what else can we talk about? Told you what I've been up to. What I've been stressing how I practice self-care with my stology. Oh, I got bored the other day and I, I put purple overtone into my hair and it looks, uh, it looks like a purplish black because my, because of the color of my hair. I didn't want to like lift the color by bleaching my hair prior to, cause I don't want to damage my curly hair. So I was like, oh, I'm fine if it just does like a, a tint or whatever, but it left my hair feeling so soft. Like just as a conditioner, that stuff is amazing. And it smelled like peppermint when I was, um, when I had it in my hair, it smelled so good. So <clears throat> yeah, I did that. I was bored, so I did that. It's not like anybody sees me anyway. So <laughs> I'm sure when I'm in the sun, it'll, you'll be able to tell more, but inside, um, it just looks like a deep, uh, purple off black, not even full black, like, like a dark, dark brown purple. I'm probably not describing it right, but that's what it looks like. And this is, yeah, I thought so. I can't, I can't, uh, See, I'm trying to select the rod and take out the bait at the same time, but it's not letting me do it. And I'm stubborn, so I tried a couple of times. And I gave up. It's fine. I'll get bait for it another day. I'm not going to do it right now. So, excuse me. Um, so yeah, did that to my hair. What else can I update you on? Oh, another way I've been practicing self-care is I've been cooking for myself. I don't tend to put that kind of effort into my day-to-day uh, -day just because I, I don't see the point, like it's just me, so why cook myself a full meal type of deal? I usually just order something or I'll microwave something, but I actually have been cooking for myself and it's kind of nice. I mean, the dishes afterwards are not, but it's nice to have like a fully home cooked meal and healthier. You know, but that's how those, those are the ways I've been taking care of myself and trying not to crumble up into a ball of anxiety over everything that's going on. I think that's really all I had to update you on. Let's go ahead and sell some stuff. Let me know down below in the comments. Um, how you all are doing. Oh, I didn't mean to sell seaweed in the green algae. Oh, well. Um, let me know down below in the comments how you all are doing and how you're holding up. 
Um, and know that I'm always here if you need to talk. Um, I did update the description box. Um, it does have a link to my Goodreads if you want to continue to follow me there for, you know, my thoughts on what I'm reading. And also the links to the Discord uh, for this channel are down there as well. So if you want to join and chat with me there, that would be great. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye.